So what would you say are the major highlights of the 8th Assembly so far in the last three years? We are able to pass, within a span of less than three years, we passed uh, uh, 212 bills, 212 bills, within a span of less than three years, while the uh, seventh Senate passed a total of 128 bills within a span of uh, four years. So you will now discover that we have done a lot uh, in spite of the challenges that the National, uh, the, the National Assembly has had within less than three years. Then uh, there are some bills actually uh, because of uh, in 2015, 2016, the country actually went into recession. National Assembly now adopted a legislative agenda, economy as part of its legislative agenda. So uh, because of that, we now went into collaboration with the Friday organized private sector, Nigerian Economic Summit Group, uh, the Nigerian Bar Association section on business law. The two organizations collaborated with the National Assembly. They came up with proposals in order to now review some of the laws in Nigeria to make them globally competitive. So that uh, uh, by, so, by passing these laws, we will be able, that will, they have the capacity to bring out Nigeria out of recession. I think the, um, the Eight Assembly um, has um, shown one, one of the key achievements I would uh, attribute to the Eight Assembly is the level it has incorporated the people in its conversation, in setting its agenda, in the things that it is doing, and uh, also in its thinking. I, let me, let me uh, kind of explain it. Before now, what we have seen with the legislature is that the legislature has taught itself to be an enclosure where it produces the issues to be discussed, and the answers to the questions it wants answered. But with the Eighth Assembly, what they've done, which is pretty remarkable, is to see governance as a combination of the engagement of the people for solutions that really deal with the issues that people care about the most. So I give you instances. When they came in, they had set for themselves uh, that, that the economy would be the benchmark on which they would measure their performance. And so they set, they set out prioritizing economic bills. But it, they did not just simply uh, pick up economic bills and started um, producing, you know, uh, processing economic bills. They went to engage the private sector, stakeholders, and people across the raft of the Nigerian society. Um, and just to ensure that, not just that they, that they have the buy-in of the people, but that the products are the products that the people themselves want the National Assembly to deal with. If you you'll see also the content of the motions that they dealt with, they were more prompt in dealing with issues that were on the front burner of people's agitations, people's frustrations, from unemployment to drug abuse to uh, interest rate to insecurity, name it. This assembly took these issues head on. Even on the issue of anti-corruption, when the National Assembly took on the issues of mutual assistance bill, the um, 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 forfeiture assets bill, the NFIU, the, that's the National Financial Institution um, uh, Institutions uh, Unit bill, um, issues on the um, witness protection, all of these instruments were introduced by the National Assembly, by the Senate, by the members themselves. And um, this showed that they did understand that what is important is how to sustain the fight 
against corruption um, beyond the administration through strengthening of the institutions. Now this is where we call it today on this week's edition of the Gavel. If you have any views on any of the issues discussed, please email us on the Gavel at channelstv.com. Thank you for staying with us and see you again next week.